if Dillian White ends up fighting Lauren Ciccoli, all I got to say to that is boo. Because who the fuck wants to see White? Sorry. But if you guys didn't know the history, uh, yesterday, Lauren Ciccoli uh, posted a tweet saying that, you know, he feels that he could beat Dillian White. All right. And uh, of course, Dillian White responds to that. And now they look like they have the li this little t Twitter beef. Now, apparently, uh, Lawrence O'Corley, uh is has sparred Dillian White in the past. Uh, or they were sparring partners. Or they currently are sparring partners. I don't know. But it looks like they're, they're trying to make some little beef going on. And now I'm starting to think that Lawrence O'Corley might end up facing uh, Dillian White. Because right now, Dillian White has no opponent. Because he screwed himself over when he ducked Anthony Joshua. And now that Dominic Brazil is looking and aiming to face uh, Deontay Wilder, let's say, he, and, and Deontay Wilder himself said he's going to be facing Dominic Brazil. If that fight gets confirmed and Dominic Brazil faces Deontay Wilder for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World, guess what, homie? Dylan White's going to be without a fight, right? I pray to God that he faces Luis Ortiz. I pray to God that he faces that because I would rather see Dillian White face Luis Ortiz than this guy on the screen, Lawrence O'Cauley. And all disrespect to Lawrence O'Cauley, but Lawrence O'Cauley is a prospect. Why would I want to see Dillian White face a prospect? Not only that, he's a cruiserweight. I believe he has a match coming up with a guy named Wadi Camacho. Camacho. If Lawrence O'Cauley is any good, he should beat uh, Wadi Camacho. He should destroy him. I, you know, I've seen a few of Lawrence O'Cauley fights. And, you know, he tends to be a hugger, right? He tends to be a guy who tries to smother his opponents. I, 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 I don't like this fight for Dillian White because it looks like this might happen. If, if, if Lawrence O'Cauley destroys dispatches of Wadi Camacho later on this month, because he, he will be fighting him later on this month, I have a big feeling he's going to go on the post fight and he's going to call out Dillian White. Dillian White might even be in the crowd. Yo, Dillian, yo, punk, punk, fight me. And then watch... This fight ends up getting signed. Lawrence O'Cauley versus Dillian White. Again, Lawrence O'Cauley is a prospect. You know, he goes around saying he bashed up Dillian White or sparring, but he's a prospect. I mean, how much credit would you give Dillian White for facing a prospect? You know what you're going to say? You're going to say, um, he, he was supposed to win. He's a prospect. I mean, the only one this will do good for is, of course, Lawrence O'Cauley because this will be the biggest name he's ever fought. I personally think uh, Dylan White beats Lawrence O'Cauley because experience. There's something called experience and levels. But th that's personally why I don't want to see this fight. It's just because he's a prospect. What is Dylan White going to gain from this? You know, he goes around saying, because that's the thing. When, when fighters don't have fights and then they start this Twitter beef, it ends up uh, getting signed and they end up fighting. So I pray to God that Luis Ortiz and Dylan White come to an agreement because Luis Ortiz just beat Christian Hammer. So I would rather see Luis Ortiz, and he's free. So if, De if, if Deontay Wilder faces Dillian White's mandatory, I mean, you know, De Dillian White's fight against uh, Do Dominic Brazil, then he could fight Luis Ortiz. That would be a great fight. I would ra wouldn't you rather see Dillian White versus Luis Ortiz than Dillian White versus Lawrence O'Callaghan? And again, no offense to Lawrence O'Callaghan, but I don't want to see him fight Dillian White. He's a prospect, man. What is that going to do for Dillian White? Woo! He beat Lawrence O'Callaghan, a guy with 11 fights. Oh, yeah. A guy who, who, who fought uh, Isaac Chalimba. I mean, come on, man. Chamberlain. I don't want to see this fight. That's all I have to say, guys. Bye-bye.